The BMW X1 is the brand's smallest crossover, a subcompact luxury conveyance that, like many of its direct competitors, is more of a tall hatchback than an SUV. For 2023, the all-new X1 gives that up for a more overtly SUV-ish appearance, growing 1.7 inches taller, 1.7 inches longer, and 0.9 inch wider. Beyond the dimensional shifts, BMW designers have squared up the X1's body, giving the roofline and hood a more upright appearance that, in conjunction with the brand's bigger new grille style, cuts a more assertive profile and looks cut from the same cloth as the larger X3 and X5. Underneath its new, buffer bod, the X1 remains pretty similar to before. There is one version at launch, the X1 X Drive 28i, which translates to an all wheel drive example powered by a turbocharged 2.0 liter i4 engine. BMW has overhauled the engine, converting it to run on the Miller combustion cycle via both port and direct fuel injection. Power rises to 241 horsepower and 295 pounds to foot of torque, from 228 horsepower and 258 pounds to foot, and is routed to all four wheels via a new, fully electronically actuated 7 speed dual clutch automatic transmission. M Sport models sprout paddle shifters from behind the steering wheel for manual gear selection, and there's even a sport boost function by which pulling on the left paddle for over a second switches all the powertrain and chassis settings to their max attack, sportiest modes for the most immediate acceleration possible. Helping the SUV's new stance are standard 18 inch wheels, and for the first time ever, a 20 inch option is available on the M Sport package. BMW also revised the X1 strut type suspension in front, upping the caster angle by 15% in search of greater steering feel and better highway tracking. The multi link rear suspension separates the springs and dampers, a move BMW says improves the axle's packaging and thus opens up more interior and cargo space. The sportier M Sport version lowers the suspension 0.6 inch and adopts a quicker steering ratio, along with frequency selective dampers. New BMW inside. As big as the revisions to the exterior are, the X1 sees a wholesale changeover inside, adopting a taller seating position to match the taller body and a large, subtly curved new touchscreen and digital gauge cluster that blend together to dominate the dashboard. The displays are arranged among a riot of interior materials and textures, with the assumed-to-be loaded orange model pictured here showing off crosshatch pattern speaker grills, flashes of chrome around the unusual central air vent, as well as the outboard vents, pinstriped plastic trim on the center console, stitched leather, and more. In moving to BMW's iDrive Operating System 8, the X1 ditches the old model's iDrive control knob on the center console in favor of an all-touch, all-voice control interface. In fact, the X1 loses almost all of its physical dashboard buttons, where the previous X1 presented users with knobs and buttons for, say, radio presets, HVAC controls, and the like, this 2023 version's only obvious buttons are those on the steering wheel, door panels, for window and lock controls, and light controls to the left of the steering wheel. A floating, cantilevered panel ahead of the center armrest offers a tidy home for the ignition button, a joystick gear selector, parking brake and flasher buttons, and a large volume control wheel. Everything else is handled on the 10.25-inch digital gauge cluster screen and the 10.7-inch touchscreen. The techification doesn't end there. BMW is offering a digital phone as key option, as well as a new digital identity users can set up, their BMW ID, with system preferences, seat memory, on-screen shortcuts, and nav settings via the BMW app. Enter the car with that BMW ID on your phone, and the car will tailor every preset parameter to your liking. As ever, a host of safety features have been stuffed into the X1, including standard forward collision warning, automated emergency braking, lane departure warning, parking sensors, and blind spot monitoring. An optional driving assistant professional feature will deliver enhanced adaptive cruise control functionality, including a self-steering lane keep assistant and the ability to bring the BMW to a complete stop and accelerate again in traffic. Hands-free driving will even be possible in dense traffic on freeways, provided the X1 stays under 40 miles per hour. Pricing for the new model is forthcoming, but we're told even the base X1S will get standard navigation, Sirius XM, dual-zone automatic climate control, a power-operated liftgate, LED headlights, and 18-inch wheels. Optional packages include the Design X line, wheels and trim upgrades, convenience, digital key, panoramic sunroof, wireless charger, driving assistance professional, the aforementioned extended adaptive cruise control and lane keep functions, shadow line, dark-colored trim, premium, universal garage door opener, panoramic sunroof, head-up display, Harman slash Kardon audio system, wireless charger, auto dimming mirrors, surround view camera, parking assistant, and M Sport, 18, 
19, or 20-inch wheels, shift paddles for the steering wheel, sport seats, M steering wheel, body kit, shadow line trim. Standalone options include heated seats, a heated steering wheel, a trailer hitch, which might not be available at launch, sport seats, and different interior trims.